Hey guys, this is Jaden with iJailbreak.com and today we're taking a look at a tweak called My Assistant. So what My Assistant allows you to do is repurpose the assistive touch feature in iOS, which Apple actually built for those with uh, motor, motor impairments or physical impairments. Um, basically what the assist, assisted touch feature does is places a little overlay on top of applications that when pressed allows you to do certain functions that it might require pressing like a hardware button like the home button. So we'll take a look here. I have my assistive touch installed. I'll go through some of its features, but first we'll enable assistive touch for those that have never played around with this functionality before. So just go into the settings app go into the general tab, scroll down until you see accessibility, tap into this, scroll down until you see assist assistive touch, and we're gonna enable this. So what this does, you can see here, once it's enabled, we have a little overlay in the corner. So by default, upon pressing this overlay, you'll see that it brings up a little menu, and we can activate Siri, we can press the home button and do a few other different features that you can play around with. Um, by default, we can move this wherever we want. It'll just snap to the side, um, snap to either left or right side. Um, so we'll go into the settings up here, go back to go back to the beginning, and we'll explore some of the features in the my my assistant tweak, my assistive tweak rather. Sorry. Um, so as mentioned before, you can repurpose this button. So this means when you press it, it'll actually do uh, a different a different feature, whatever you set it to. So I'll enable repurpose, and I'll go into the replace menu. And you can see that we can actually replace this functionality with a whole bunch of different other features, such as triple clicking the home button, taking a screenshot, restarting the springboard, etc., etc. So what we'll do here too is lock device. So now when I press the assistive touch button, it's actually going to lock the device, not bring up that menu. So we press it, it locks the device. So that's what the repurpose does. It doesn't bring up that menu with those other features. It allows you to do a predefined one in its settings app. And we can also do some slight modifications to the assistive touch's uh, functionality. So if you remember before, we can only snap it to the side. Well, if we enable no snap position, we can uh, move the assistive touch button anywhere we want and it's going to stay there. Um, the no hide feature simply allows it to be displayed when you take screenshots, as usually when you take screenshots, the assistive touch button is hidden for obvious reasons. And then if we go blue icons, if you remember, if we click it now, the icons are white. If we enable this, guess what? The icons are blue. So that's the My Assistive uh, tweak. If you use the Assistive Touch button, you might find this useful, even just for some of its aligning features like the No Snap option. The repurposing options are great. Right. It would be nice if you had options to configure a few of them, or maybe change some of the stuff in the menu. But it's a free tweak. It's available in the Big Boss repo. Uh, this has been Jaden with iJailbreak.com. For more Studio Tweak reviews and tech news, make sure you check out the site.